Hi everyone, it's Kim here. This video is in response to a subscriber's question. Um, she's making 70 place cards for a wedding and it sounds like what her dilemma is, it says I'm thinking that DS won't write script lettering but makes, because um, it makes the outline. I, I know exactly what she's talking about. So I'm, I'm gonna do this video and hope that it will help her but at the end, if it seems like you have a better way, a quicker way, um, you know, leave a comment and then she can refer to that as well. All right, so I'm going to type in a text by clicking on add text. I'm going to type in Mr. All right, so this over here, you have all fonts, which are your Cricut fonts and your system fonts, which are the fonts that are available in your word processing program. Now I'm just going to click quickly show you here. Um, let me reduce the size of this so you can see it. Um, that's all the fonts. It's writing fonts and Cricut fonts. Then you have your system fonts, which are the fonts that are available um, within your computer um, software program. Um, so let's, as you can see, like I clicked on the Lucinda Sands and there's your outline. That's not what she's looking for. She wants, let's take a step back here, and then you have your single layer fonts. And what that is, um, is all the fonts that have, um, well, there's fonts that have double layers and there's fonts that have single layers. Double layers meaning there's a bottom, larger um, die cut that you will cut out. And then there's the top one that's a little bit smaller. Now that adds dimension to your um, your layout or your card or whatever you want to do to have like a double layer. Again, that's the outline. That's not what she's looking for. So let's go to has a writing style. Now there's many, many, many um, different writing style fonts. Um, I'm going to check, check, click, check. Um, this one here, it says thoughts and phrases and it's a real pretty script. The way you want to attach it is you want to highlight it and you want to come over to where it says letter spacing and it says, you know, vertical alignment, VA. Um, right now it's 3.76 and I'm going to start clicking on that arrow. Okay, I'm going to go back. I want you to look right here and watch how that R moves over, 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 over. Ta-da, it's attached. If you're writing Mr. and Mrs. Smith, you really need to write each one individually or it's not going to crunch together like you want. I'll give you an example here. Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Okay, let's move this up out of the way. Um, I'm, I'm on it now, so I'm going to go to the VA and I'm going to start moving my arrows over. It really just, you know, I mean, it it won't take that much time, but you really have to be careful that you don't click on it too much. Okay, now see how that all attached, but not really. There's a space right here. It's better to do it individually. If I click on this and I keep going down where I'm moving the letters together, um, that might be okay, but you still have a space there. Um, and then it starts kind of overlapping. So you really have to do it you know, individually, which is unfortunate. So let's get rid of that so we don't get confused. And I'm going to put um, Mrs. I'm sorry, Mrs. And go to the VA and start clicking the down arrow until it's where I want to be. Now there's a space right here that you want it to all be attached. So let's keep bringing it over. That would work or um, and I really need help here with you, you know, if you guys know how to do this an easier way, um, you can do it like each individual letter. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. M and then, um, where's my M? Then you do um, an R. Where's my R? And, you know, pull it over as far as you can and just do it manually. Or if you want it separate and to just use the vertical alignment, you highlight it and um, go into the letter spacing, the VA letter spacing, and bring it together. I've only highlighted the end. That was a bad example. Manually. 
like so. See how much time that would be to just sit there? I mean, if you're doing 70 place cards with different names, that would take forever. Um, I do like the method of um, doing like the Mr. and the Mrs. and just clicking on that um, vertical alignment spacing. Uh, I don't know a quicker way to do this. I wish I could help her out a little more. Um, I do have a um, suggestion on the place cards, which I did for Thanksgiving about four years ago I think it was and I'm going to click all this off and I'm going to show you what I did. It might make it much simpler for her and it's using the print and cut feature. Um, I'm going to insert a shape which is a square and I'm going to come over here and I'm going to edit it so that it is the width of a um, place card which is three and a half and then two and a half once it's folded over so I'm going to make it five and then I need to change the color so I'm going to click on layers click on the black box and let's say the wedding colors are um, like a light blue that's how it's going to print out on your printer so then you come over to your add text and you're going to type in mr and mrs smith now it's it's not attached like she wants it to be and i don't know if this is what she's going to want to do um, we're going to go ahead and Try to bring them together as much as we can. You see the R's are all lined up. Um, there's the gap here. This could be a, a font um, choice. So uh, let's go to Wonderlust and see if it's different. Um, there's still a gap there. Thank you for hanging in there with me. I'm just trying to be helpful here. This is the wildflower. Um, still just a little bit of a gap. Let's see if that'll go over. Just a tiny bit enough that we can attach the the T and the I. That might work. Okay, so wild wildflower looks like a good script font that would work. Okay, um, let's make it the size of the card. So I'm going to come down here to the size of the lettering, and I'm going to put the width as uh, 2.50. That looks like a good size. Okay, now I need to put, I'm going to pull this aside for a second. I need to put a score line on here so that it folds better. If you do insert shapes and you're going to search score, gosh, okay, score. Um, you're going to pick, this one is from Dream Big. And I saw an, a video with a, somebody using this and I was like, oh my gosh, there's a score line. I loved it. Okay, so I'm going to bring that horizontal as best I can. I'm going to make it the width of the card. So I'm going to come over to the size, and I'm going to type in 3.5. Now it's the same size of the card. Now, once I move it over to this blue area, it's going to be a um, surrogated line or a dotted line, so you're not going to be able to see it. But the point that I'm trying to make is you're going to put it on there, and you're like, I don't even know if that's in the middle. Did I put it in the right spot? Here's a great feature of the Cricut Design Space. I'll highlight the whole thing. I'm going to hit a line, and I'm going to center horizontally. So it is exactly in the middle. Then I'm going to move the Mr. and Mrs. Smith over. Now don't forget to put your um, score pen in your Cricut Explorer um, when you're doing this. And just a reminder, this is the print and cut feature. Um, okay, so let's upload an image. No, I'm sorry, not upload an image. Let's insert an image. Um, you could upload the image if you have something in your library. And I'm going to do wedding. Um, let's pick these two rings, summer celebrations, and the Cricut Access. And you know, oh my gosh, those are so big. And I really don't like those colors. All right, so let's go to layers. And let's change the rings to, oh, let's keep the rings gold. But we'll do the diamond part, um, maybe like a really light yellow that might be okay and um, let's do I'm clicking on each of the layers of this um, we could do like a gray color that might be okay and then let's go to another layer and do um, a little bit darker gray okay get rid of that now we need to flatten this let's size it first edit and we're going to make it really small. Um, so let's go with the width of 0.50. It's so cute, right? Okay, so we're going to flatten that. Maybe that's too small. Let's do 1.0. Yeah. 
again, <laughs> click on the, the, the image, layers, flatten. You have to do this if you're going to do print and cut. As far as flatten goes, I think it's too big. So I'm going to do edit again and bring it down to 0.75. Okay, great. Now position it where you want it. That looks like it's good. I don't want it too close to the score line. Um, I like where the Mr. and Mrs. Smith is. I'm going to highlight the whole thing, come over to layers, and I'm going to attach it. Now this card color, the wedding ring and the writing on here is going to print out on your printer. And let me just click on the go so you can see what it's going to look like on the print and cut. That's how it's going to print out. Your score blade will score it here and it'll cut out just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll go over to the craft mat and I'll show you what the result of this is. It's, it's so great to do it this way because you can do multiple amounts. You would just, let me go back into the, um, the actual card. You would just detach it and then um, fix the name, you, you know, have it be Mr. and Mrs. Jones. Oh, goodness, can't type, oh, yes. Okay, and then you would bring this over here. You would highlight it and you would layer attach and then there's your second card. Um, I'll go ahead and print it out now. I'll go over to the my um, little crafting area and we'll show you the card. All right, so it's done cutting. And what I did just to give it a little bit um, more professional look than you know doing the lettering um, as a print and cut feature is I made it so that it wrote it. Um, it's kind of hard to tell the difference um, that's the print and cut where I did the the rings and the lettering. And then this is, um, I have to apologize sorta for my printer because it's really old and as I print colored things out like this, it makes lines. So I have to um, get a new printer, but that's all the story. So this, the Cricut Design Space is going to prompt you to put in the stylus and then it's going to um, prompt you to put in your pen. So, um, it, it actually did not do it down the middle like I thought it was going to. So I went ahead and just, I'm going to score it myself. And that's your place card. Now there's, using this feature, you can do so many things. As long as you have a printer that prints, um, beautifully, unlike mine, you can design your own Christmas cards and, um, just decide on the images that you want. Um, it'll cut the card if you want to make it an A2 or a smaller or um, you know a, a vertical card, whatever you want. And you just put the images on there. You can in whatever image you want. Um, I'm thinking about doing that myself. And um, if you want me to do a tutorial, let me know, and I'll I'll do it. I'll show you guys how to do it. But you can put all the images that you want on it. Build a little scene. Um, write the person's name, uh, whatever you'd like. Um, just make sure that all of your images are flattened. Um, and once they're put on the virtual card that you have on your virtual mat, um, just make sure you attach it because otherwise it's going to be um, giving you multiple amounts of mats and doing a bunch of weird stuff. So um, it not no um, fault of the Cricut Design Space. It's just uh, something that you need to do. You need to put the images on, flatten it, and attach it. All right. I hope this answered her question. Um, but again, if you have a quicker way, um, please help us out here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.